Anthony plays <laughs> with friends. Chris, is that little limpet you? Am I to believe that your consciousness is downloaded what? into that small creature? <laughs> zoom in, zoom what in. does the term limpet mean? I, I, <laughs> yeah, what's a limpet? That's, I think that's the first time I've ever heard it spoken aloud. It's like a, uh, it's a sea creature. It's a little, like, shellfish type oh, thing. A little limpet? Okay. Yeah. I like that the selection sound is a wet dick. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? That's- uh, that's actually the original developer's wet dick hitting- <laughs> hitting his desktop. I've been excited for this. This is a, this is fun. Have you now? Yeah, we- we, we oh. played the demo oh, and it that. was a lot of fun. Pushing down the grass. <laughs> that sound again. That all familiar sound. I'm gonna write Lyle, you ready? It reminds me of home. L. Oh, you better write it fast. It only it only has about like uh, fifteen feet of history. <laughs> fifteen feet of history is what I call my dick. <laughs> this is just gonna be the dick episode. That George we even, Washington dick. We didn't even wait two minutes that to start talking about dick. Jimmy Carter dick. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a video game. See that? And it feels good too. Is that your tongue or is that just a wad of your spittle? It's my little spittle. Oh, this is so fun to control. You do have an affinity for balls. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Nothing at all. This is just basically an advanced form of ball game. Oh my god, you're right. I still can't wait for that X01 game either. That game's sick. I mean, that's yeah. the one I was talking about, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything with little balls bouncing around or flying or swinging. Or singing, look, or look, doing look anything that. really. What more could you want in life? This guy looks like Gooey from Kirby. Remember Gooey look. from Kirby? He does look like that. Shit. The uh, was Gooey the fish? Gooey was not the fish. Gooey was like the little blue guy that shows up in oh. Kirby Three. Oh. Who's basically he's got the same powers as Kirby except he licks and he looks almost exactly like this. And I'm connecting some dots here. I was gonna say I was obsessed with Kirby Two where they introduced the little like animal friends, oh. but I don't know any of their names and I don't think I ever did. This is the kind of game that feels good to just blast through it as fast as you can. You gotta blast faster. I'm trying. No! Oh yeah, you can do that. You saved it! Come on, recover, recover, recover! Oh, <laughs> whoa, oh, oh, whoa! You can do no. it. I, I really think you can. No. Oh, I almost did it. Yes. Oh. Whoa. The return of the king. <laughs> did you ever imagine it would go like Come this? Come on, yes, yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> whoa. No. Oh. Yes. You got it. Okay. Oh. There we go. I feel like you learned more struggling up the side of those than you would have doing it the right way. I told you I'm a Or if the game had landed you with some annoying tutorial level instead of just throwing you right into it. Yeah, no, thank God for this. this I think we always learn best through failure. Would you agree, Chris, that fear of failure is the greatest obstruction to learning? No, I think that people who fail from the beginning are losers and they should give up. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Unless you get something perfect your first try. <laughs> You heard it here, folks. Don't pursue anything you can't get right on your first try. Just drop it. You clearly can't do it. You either got it or you don't, okay? Yeah. As they say in the biz. <laughs> I used to believe that about everything. Did you really? Yeah, it's like, I can't do it. This sucks. I'm stupid. Learning how to learn, if that makes sense, is like a really valuable life skill in general. Yeah, if anything, that's what the best thing you could take out of school. Because nothing else will actually stick. Right. <laughs> Except for that thing on your neck. <laughs> and the lawsuits. Well, I don't know why you had to bring up the thing on my neck. <laughs> Sorry, it's got to come up at least once a year by contract. Your little benign Tomar. <laughs> <laughs> your Tomar. <laughs> See, I'm good. I told you. It only took me five minutes. This is my benign you a Tomar. Benign you a Tomar. Woo! <laughs> 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 Uh, does anyone else want to try? I- I could. Here, have a go. It's okay. fun. Is the tongue, like, uh, right, right, trigger. right trigger? Yeah. Where else would you put it, after all? Are there any other buttons I even need to know? Just jump? Jump and tongue. And tongue, okay. Jump and tongue! Jump and tongue! There you go. What? wait, wait. Oh, right trigger and A, what? Right trigger and A. At the same time? I don't know that I get it. Are you made of paint? I don't know, I think that's supposed to be like his little snail trail. Like he's supposed know. to be like a goop. 
I don't think I got what they were trying to teach me, but... What did you say was Whee! in the uh, five-hour energy? B? Vitamin B12. And caffeine. And like everything. And taurine. <laughs> Pretty much it's like a cocktail of everything that is either proven or just widely believed to give you energy. Chemical X. Did you hear All that right. the guy who- This approach clearly isn't so great. Did you hear that the CEO of Five Hour Energy is like trying to drill to the center of the earth to create a massive like graphite wire that uh- I, I do recall that being real. <laughs> it, it is real. You take that energy and you bring it up. He's a madman. No, he made this like series of like, look at me, no. I'm a zillionaire, so I'm putting all my money into crazy shit. Some of it seemed practical, some of it was just <gasps> fucking dumb. <laughs> I don't think he's getting to the center of the earth. I'm just gonna come out and say it. But you know what? Prove me wrong, asshole. Get to the center of the earth. You should just buy a bucket of acid and pour it on the ground. Yeah, that it would must probably be so get there. fun. Like I bet he, all the contractors he's hired are con artists. All the <laughs> people like, oh yeah, like, we could get oh, yeah, down there. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> it's just gonna take a long time and a lot of money. That's all non-refundable. We definitely need to figure out how to actually get up the walls properly. <laughs> can I? Can I try for a sec? Oh, for sure. Let me just- There's one guy in the comments who's actually punching his forehead <laughs> with his palm right now. He's putting a hole in his drywall because- Because <laughs> we just failed to grasp it. Did you guys ever have cousins growing up and they always had holes in their walls? That they didn't repair? Yeah. I- I guess not specifically cousins, but I certainly had friends. What is it with males and putting holes in the wall? It, I it mean, is to be fair, of... drywall is pretty pathetically weak. That's true. It is super empowering when you actually find out that you're strong Whoa. enough to do it. Oh! <laughs> Wait. You can jump up like that. I guess that works. See? It is that all it's all trying that... to teach you is just to go vertical? Just I don't know. To release? I think that's exactly what it was trying to teach you. Okay, okay, okay. So, sometimes swinging is not your best friend. I guess is the point there. No, you were doing good. Listen, man. If I've learned anything about this video game, it's it's, it's silly. Yeah. What do you think of these little mushrooms? Are they not cute? Um, I think they're pretty adorable. Oh, fuck. Adorable. I would I would use the the, the Japanese term kawaii. They mm. In case Holy you didn't fuck. know that one. Mm, this is a very frustrating topic. Because <laughs> you're not getting any? Because I'm not getting any. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, okay. Oh, you're a little bouncing bean of a boy. Look at me go, la. Look at me go. Holy- Whoa! Whoa! Where do I go? Save Gra yourself! Oh! Grab something! I tried. It, it, it wouldn't do it. Okay, here we go. Let's try that again. Oh my oh! god, that's cool. Okay. Was that what that was supposed to do? Maybe. I guess. That's, that's very like Sonic Adventure. This is where- Like, uh, in a good way. This is where Jim Carrey gets banished yes, to at is. the end of, uh... Wait, what's that under there? I see you. Who are you? Mate with it! I got an achievement. Can okay. I bounce from underneath? Okay, no. That wouldn't really make sense. Never in a million Ooh. years. I already forget, what's this game called again? Crumble. Crumble? It's a weird name. It should it be called is. Swing or something. Yeah, why isn't it called Licky Tongue Swing Man? <laughs> yeah, or like Wet, Wet Ball. Oh, yay, I'm fucking flying! Oh my god. Holy shit, you're Whoa! picking up lots of See, speed. That's... Whoa! Make this a Sonic game, it's, it's Sega! To I think it's actually really fair to compare this to Sonic and that it does a lot of things that Whoa! Sonic could be doing better. <laughs> it's true. Imagine if I was Sonic right now. I'd feel amazing. Instead, you're a ball, oh feeling God. even better. <laughs> yeah, you really cut out the middleman by always being a ball. Yeah, exactly. What? No! They said, <laughs> Sonic, what's the worst part of Sonic? When he's not a ball. When he's not curled up. This when is amazing. When his spine is aligned. <laughs> oh, this is why it's called crumble. See this crap? Oh, because yeah. everything oh. crumbles beneath you. Yeah. Beneath your might. God, this is fun. Seems like everyone's better at making Sonic than Sega. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like the original creator of Sonic said, he said, When his spine is aligned, I say nine. This was during World <laughs> War II, so... Nine! You know, when his he, spine he, is aligned, I say nine. He picked up a little bit of German, but yeah. <laughs> that was, that was yeah, the that's, original... That's, that's a little known fact, is Sonic Wait. was actually developed by Nazi scientists <laughs> in the, at, the, at the tail end of World War II. Nazi scientists <laughs> basically invented, like, rocket technology and a bunch and of radio. stuff that got us into space. And banana splits. I thought radio 
predated World War One. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> just trying to give them a little more credit than they deserve. Maybe don't do that anymore. <laughs> oh yeah. Wee. That is. That does look very fun. I'm it's satisfying you. to watch. Everything you know is good when you're going fast. They also did kind of take the design philosophy of like if you put lines oh. on something, you'll uh -oh. like see how fast you're going from Sonic. Lines? Yeah, like in Green Hill Zone with oh, the like lines on the- horizontal lines? Yeah, like lines on the floor. Yeah, if they were like uh, vertically away from the camera, like like there you can't really see how fast- Well, you can because of the shadows and the light. But, you know what? You keep talking, I'll shut up. It's just over- <laughs> it's your channel, you talk more, asshole. Okay, uh, today we're gonna talk about blue... the color. Blue the blur. <laughs> the blue bomber versus the blue blur, who will win? Did anyone actually call him the blue bomber? Uh, or is that something they Mega tried? Man? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they tried to make that stick because they were jealous of, of, of the blue blur or something. Fuck. To be fair, I I, th I did love both franchises to death ba I, back in the I 90s. Cannot, I just cannot get into Mega Man. I I'm sorry. I don't think I'd ever even played a Mega Man game at the time. I just watched the cartoons oh. and I was like, I think I like Mega Man. Dude, the Mega Man based cartoon. Based on the Ruby Spears no, cartoon. No, 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 sorry. It's not shit. It's nothing to me. It's that, just nothing. Yeah. I I liked Mega Man uh, X like after oh. they let you play a zero, but yeah. uh, which is when people start saying they get bad. So I don't know, but I I like the way that Zero plays. Okay. Specifically, I think he's like a lot more fun than your standard Mega Man. This is my hot take, but I think Mega Man's a little overrated. Wow. I mean, they haven't made a game in like a zillion trillion years. It, it's. Kind of well, sad, they have but and they it's... haven't, right? It's like like the Inafune, Ooh. or is that the guy's name? Oh yeah, well no, we're he not. He started we're not anti creates about... and all that. Oh. Yeah, I'm not, not even trying to go into Mighty Number no. Nine specifically. The forbidden what? rap. If you guys have played like like a what's that Azure Striker Gun Vault or whatever, I played that a few years back on the 3DS, and I thought that was pretty fun. It sort of oh. remind. It was like Ooh. a. It was like a f sort of new take on a Mega Man X type game. No, I mean Mega Man's like it's got like a, an okay like design philosophy. No. Like Adventures of Chris is basically just Mega Man. <laughs> you say Mega Man is the Dark Souls of the NES. I, I, I hate that it it kills me there because I'm clearly still hanging on. I hate that <laughs> it kills you on yeah, outside there's and in. There's definitely some stuff where it's just like looking at your coordinates on whatever like Y axis or whatever and. It doesn't matter if it you're clinging. Yeah, like like here, like. What? What? Why is it killing okay, me? Yeah, that 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 area that one seems. Will give you, that yeah. that's that that area seems bugged. Like yeah. like whatever their kill box or whatever is too high up. Fuck you. It's a good name for a video game made in 2006. Kill box. Kill box. <laughs> tongue ball. The ball old, with the tongue. Old, the old ball and tongue. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you call your woman. Ah, the old ball and tongue. Whoa! Actually, that's what your woman calls you, the old ball and tongue. <gasps> Whoa! Oh. Where did I go? Oh. There you go. <laughs> Yay! Whoa! Woo! I World one jungle! I made it to the Prepare cutscene. to crumble. Level complete. Yeah, way to come in 1745th place, Chris. It crashed. Oh no. Oh, it did. <sighs> At least we made it through a whole level. <laughs> the developers thought that your performance was quote-unquote sad. <laughs> That's not fair. And uh, exited you out of the game kindly to spare you. I wonder, are they looking through like a webcam at us right now? Oh, yeah. I can uh, only hope. Oh, yeah. The way that one stares at the moon and wonders if that special someone the is looking at the same moon. The developer is going to be the first moon. comment when you post this video. And he's going to be like, by the way, that crash, I did that actively to spite you. I think this is a new level, right? Holy fucking sh Definitely. <laughs> I think it looks, yeah, it seems different. Although go. I guess that last level started pretty different from how it ended, so I'm not sure. Get up, Man, stupid. We do really have the memory of fucking goldfish and... I, I certainly do. I mean, it, this looks like the earlier levels. It's not my fault. There we go. Okay. I'll know if I see that, that one special tree. These are the truffula trees from uh. which you can make the needs which everyone needs. Oh, I love that. The Tomax. The Tomax? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am the Tomax. I speak for the trees. I speak for the Jews. <laughs> for the Jews have no tongues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh boy. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Tomar. It's really fucked up. The lilacs is a uh, what do you call it? 
one of those guys who just wants society to crumble. Oh, like the Joker, but a little wood nymph? Holy moly! No, I mean like an, anar an anarchist, that's you. <laughs> yeah. The Lilacs. <laughs> that is a cool name for a character, the Lilacs. Oh my god. Like, this is a fun level. Holy oh. shit. <laughs> Yay! Whoa. Whoa! What a cool way to introduce you Whoa. to the second part of the level. Oh, fuck! <laughs> fucking shit! Your world is falling apart, little man. Roll! I, I, I really it. do think that, yeah, that ah! is... Oh, that was just unfortunate. <laughs> that was. Maybe that really is why it's called Crumble. Maybe as the as this goes on, we're gonna realize the premise is that your world is crumbling. Yeah, and all your friends are dying, and you Whoa. still smile this big goofy grin. This is so fun, holy shit. Because they took your soul first. Oh my god. Oh, no, not again! Oh! No! That was the bomb. That was the bomb that did it. Someone's bombing us? Yes. I had a dream the other night that someone nuked uh, me while I was in the car. You have those a lot. This is like the yeah, third this is or fourth definitely time not you've the first brought up nuke dream. nuke dreams. I guess I, I think about nukes a lot. That's pretty cool. I started taking these pills. I got pills from the doctor to help with my back pain, and uh, ever since I started taking them, I'm having crazy dreams. About nukes? Well, that was one of them. Oh, shh. You got it! Oh, you... Whoa! Oh! What the fuck? Hopefully Take a, you just did a checkpoint. <laughs> Take a look at Egypt before you fucking fly off the edge due to momentum. Ooh. <laughs> Silly face. That's ah! all I need. This oh, game's no. 10 out of 10. That's a, that's a murderous... What are, the, what are those Whoa. called? Like, Moai faces? The, the Easter Island heads? They yeah. are bombing us. Do they have a name other than Easter oh Island God. heads? I thought they were called, oh. like, Moai statues or something like that. It, they probably were called something not Whoa! Easter Island heads. <laughs> no, I'm In stuck. fact, I'm pretty sure that Easter Island was not called that by the people that actually lived there. Oh my god, this is cool. You don't think they celebrated Easter every single day? I ah! think instead, yeah, instead of eggs, they hid that dude's head everywhere. Stop bombing me up! I've heard those things have feet. Is that true? That they built, like, the whole body and then just buried it? Uh, yeah, apparently. I, I feel like I've heard something similar, yeah. That sounds like something that they would have oh, just God. done once and then hoped you didn't dig up the rest of them. That's what I would have done if yeah, I was trying to make the Yeah, it is called the Moai phase. Yes. Yeah, I like it. No, fuck! No, yes! Oh, you did yes! it! Yes! I'm a god! <laughs> you cheated so hard at that level. <laughs> Whatever. It worked. Crumble, 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 crumble. Crumble, 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 crumble. I love crumble, I love crumble. I hope this guy's game makes a million dollars. Eat the mushroom. Eat the fucking mushroom. Did uh, it bark? Did you you killed it. I hope he handles the success well. Wait, 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 listen, listen, listen. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Good. More, more, more. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this guy's a genius, you have to admit. <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> Ooh. What? Yeah, you didn't tongue! My tongue. My silly tongue. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh! No. Oh. Yes. Oh. Treetopia is pretty cool. Yeah, as soon as you, like, accidentally connect to something with a short tongue here, you're pretty much screwed, huh? Can you make it longer? Am I going the right way? I don't think you can lengthen it. Oh, I, I think that's that supposed way. to be going this Actually, way. Actually, if there was a mechanic that let you, like, like, loosen out your tongue, that would help you in those situations. I just don't know if that mechanic exists. Like, yeah, maybe L-Trigger or something does that. I don't know. Does L-Trigger have a function in this game? That's also jump. Whoa! Oh, you okay. purpled. I oh. could be whatever color. This is the I future. Never knew. Okay, this game is just fucking amazing. If only Rachel Dolezal was still alive to see this. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Rachel Dolezal is that woman that said she was like trans black. Oh. Is she really not still alive? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's still alive. I think. In my heart. I don't know if she's still black, but. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Here you go. Woo. No! Mm. Oh! Mm. Jump on up! There, there you, you go. go! Yay! I like being the purple one, I think. You've done it once more. Thanks, bro. <laughs> oh no! Oh, fuck! No! Oh! Ah, oh, you had fuck. that. Check this out, Tomar. You ready? Do a little jump like that. Then you do that. Then Tomar, you... brace for impact. Oh, I did it! Yeah! And you landed right on the mushroom. Like in Mario. 
Well, what's the greatest Mario party? The greatest Mario parody? Yeah. Definitely Mario's funeral. <laughs> Mario's- oh, Mario's funeral for sure. That is a good one. No! I'm ruining history. I'm like those assholes who go to Utah and push over like thousand year old rock formations. Oh, they had it coming. The rocks? Yeah. I guess. All great rocks will come to an end. That's the the prophecy of old. Okay, this time I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go nuts with this. To be fair, if you desecrate a historical monument and then that then becomes history, you made it better. You added to it. I mean, that's kind of true, like the Greek statue with the no arms, or the Sphinx with no nose. I guess you're right, because like... No one's like, put the Sphinx's nose back on, everyone's like, cool. Yeah, like, what, what is a, like, what's a story without an ending? Like, so those rocks standing there, they're in the middle of their story, they haven't ended yet. Yeah, the Grand Canyon, when we fill that bitch in, it'll be so much more interesting. It's true, because it'll just it, be didn't silly. Didn't it start underwater, like, thousands and thousands of years ago? It's if gonna not, be if the, not tens or hundreds of thousands? The Grand Canyon National Parking Lot. <laughs> I thought it was, uh, it was a bunch of trucks driving acid. And then they all, like, tipped over. <laughs> You're on an acid kick today. It's <laughs> the only thing that exists. <laughs> Holy- okay, just kill me, just... <laughs> now I know how they feel. Yeah, the Grand Canyon is actually the result of a series of acid attacks that occurred between 1975 and 1978. <laughs> acid attacks. A big, uh, a big tribe of those dinosaurs from Jurassic Park that spit Ow. acid roamed the land amongst humans 2,000 years ago. Whee! And they spit acid and made it as a joke. Just a practical joke. Wouldn't it be joke. a funny joke if we made a gr the grandest canyon with our acid? Yeah, and then humans would look at it for generations and generations to come because they're being pranked. <laughs> I hate to tell you, but if you've ever been to the Grand Canyon yeah. and looked at it, that was the prank and you fell for it. It was originally yeah, if you've the ever, Grand- If you've ever admired the beauty and splendor of oh, Grand fuck. Canyon National Park- Yeah, got you. Yep. I wish they'd go back to calling it Punked. the Grand Acid Attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm tired of the erasure of our history. Whoa. Oh, fuck! Okay. No! no! You're doing good, though. Thank you. I really like this honky tonk soundtrack. You would, you honky. <laughs> but you are. <laughs> you, I've always found it weird that people have like this thing where they're like, "Oh, did the moon landing really happen? Did the Holocaust really happen?" It's like we have like video footage of that, whereas like most of history before that was like written by dudes that Ooh. thought the world was flat and were accountable to fucking nobody. Yo. The world is flat, stupid. I'm just saying, like, they thought demons were causing illnesses and shit. Like, <laughs> even if they're trying to report history yeah, we, accurately, yeah, you're we not- Yeah, we really shouldn't blend any credibility to anyone born before, like, Fuck. the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, like, if you're gonna doubt a point in history, there's- there's plenty of it before we had, like, I don't know, books. <gasps> a little guy. Let me a little guy. Give me the guy. Fuck! Remember I saw something and it was like the world's first negative Yelp review and it was like on a stone tablet Like someone literally wrote like a bad review of a Mother restaurant or something on a like a stone tablet And like I guess the restaurant owner thought it was funny and like put it up there Wait, when was this? Uh, this was before paper. That's crazy. One of the first like written records that we've ever found was like a trade receipt from like Mesopotamia or something Actually, I don't even- it was probably ancient Egypt, not even Mesopotamia. Did they trade something goofy? Uh, I forget what the trade even was for. It was-, was It wasn't even like a real trade, it was like they were making a- They made a donation to the temple. Was it for like, spill it and lie? No, it was like- They- I think- Like they literally like, showed up and like, left some sacrificial goats at the temple. <laughs> and- and they were just given a record for it. I figure the first closest thing to a giant corporation probably was some form of church. I like the idea that they had to figure out literature on the spot to like write that receipt for the goats. Yeah. Like, oh fuck, okay, how do we... I'm just gonna draw this, this weird thing and it's gonna mean goat and then I'll just draw it five more times because it's five goats. No. So I... who's funnier, Homer Simpson or Black Phillip? I don't even know who Black Phillip is. He's the goat from the Veach. The Vavitch? The Vavitch. I, I don't know if I've ever actually watched the Vavitch. Oh, that's cool. 
There's a goat in it called Black Phillip. Is he like I was just thinking of the witch hunt black goat? Uh, the witch hunt black goat is definitely taking it from the bitch. Could be, but I don't know. I feel like black goats have always been used to like represent the devil in. That's a good point. In mythology, you should see the bitch. It's cool. You know what it's about. Uh, is it about a vvitch? It's about a vvitch in the <laughs> voids. Vvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvv
I think everyone has just as much of a right to like ignore that sort of criticism. Dude, this game is awesome. Look at this shit. It, it, yeah, it only really gets dicey again when like if 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 you're making your your thing for like a like a deliberately younger audience. Yeah. Like people who are still impressionable and still like learning about the world. Come on, get me there, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! But yeah, when you're telling a story for adults, there's some some fair assumption that that they already know a thing or two about how the world actually works. I don't. I need morals, <laughs> or I don't know what to think. That's true. Anything that's like an oh. explorative sort of narrative gets Whoa. like weird criticism for that. I'll see people that are like, Tyler Durden is a weird fascist who shouldn't be looked up to. It's like, that's kind of the point. <laughs> You're supposed to think he's cool and that's supposed to make you uncomfortable when it's like, yeah, oh yeah, that he's actually like a crazy is what, cult dude. That's what like, makes that's it relatable. Idea. Is that, yeah, is that there's a lot of really shitty people who, you, who, who are charming. <laughs> oh. Charles Manson, a real life person was you know, known to be one of the like most intelligent, charming people. Most of the people who he, who were in his cult had ever met. Are these things alive? They're snakes. They're evil snakes. It looks really? like. Oh sky wow! Snakes. They they do have eyes. I did not realize that. I can't believe there's dirty snakes in the sky. Wow, Tomar. If I was ever in a no! hills have eyes situation, I wouldn't want you as my ally. You wouldn't even be able to identify that the hills the, had the eyes. The literal hills so? have eyes. <laughs> yeah. The actual hills have eyes. That was just about like scary, like psychopathic oh hillbillies, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, the hills don't have eyes in that movie, unless you really look for it. There's actually one scene where, in the background, you no. can see big googly eyes on the hill. This level's insane. Just so the title makes sense, the director said it had to be you're, there. You're, you're doing pretty okay, though. <laughs> I hate these little parts here. Yeah, just swing to that one at this oh, point. Fuck. Oh god. Yeah, then... Okay, yeah, the camera kind of screwed you on Whoa! that. How many of these oh. are there? Are you just, <laughs> Are you supposed to just be going forward? Yeah, I, I assume so. Look okay. at me go. It looks like you're kind of nearing like I see a, the Oh, there it is. All right. I see stretch. it. I see it. No. Fuck, I'm barely making it. I was going to say I haven't seen a save Whoa. point for a while. Oh my god. A checkpoint. Let me in. Please! Oh god. Please! <laughs> okay, that counted. Holy fuck, <laughs> you, you really you did You entered it. through the engine. Look at this crazy world we live on. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe this guy lives on it. I Nobody push lives jump here button. anymore. Everybody moved away after the incident. Ah yes, the incident. I can't believe you wrote this song, Chris. Yeah, well, you know me. I'm pretty good at music. Is honky tonk a fair way to describe <laughs> this kind of music? I mean, it, yeah, it's, I it sounds like a, the instrument, yeah. It's like, yeah, when you hit the little honky tonk piano preset, I feel like it sounds like this. It's just like that, like, stereotypical, like, West, saloon, western yeah. saloon piano. I actually hate the sound of that. It, it's fine in this, though. I just don't generally like it that much. Yeah, but Chris, what no, if I you know, were- I know exactly what you mean. What if you were in prison for 45 years and you got out and this was the first music you heard? <laughs> I guess I would associate I, that I with freedom like and I'd enjoy it more. See? So you're not oh. really being considerate of people in that position. No, yeah, no, that's true. Granted, they did, you know, kill, but, you know. Look at me go, look at me go. Woo! Oh yeah, no! He, and he forgot to mention that you were in, you were in prison for for aggravated assault and, mur and murder in the second degree. Yeah. Well, I didn't think that was relevant to the story. The point is he got out. <laughs> the point is he served his time. Yeah, I fucked up, but I learned. I learned not to do it again. Or at least not to get caught. I'm cured. Damn it. I don't see the problem. If I'm cured, just let me live. I'm cured of my will to murder completely. Look at all this goop. It was just like kind of a passing fad thing when I was 32. <laughs> you know they have- they have like a sex offenders registry. Do they have a murderers one? I've never like heard of that being a thing. Yeah, why isn't there a murderers registry? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, why is everything about sex all the time, huh? Yeah, people- people are just obsessed with it. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Well, that fucking pillar just slid right off. Oh, I'm in a crack. And it really peeves me. Can you believe that the real life looks like that? Yeah, actually, I, I saw it the other day. That's just physics. Mm-hmm. Is that a big tuba? What is that? Oh, I'm horny. Let's go into it. Fuck. I'm not horny anymore. <laughs> now nah, I'm horny. Here we there go. you go. 
Damn it. Let me in, you fucking game. Jesus. I like that because you're red, your little splatter looks like meat Ooh, blood. <laughs> uh, remember Meatwad? He was so cool. Oh, look at those. Those are like, I swear I used to have blocks that looked exactly like those. What are they for? The, uh, little builder blocks? Uh, yeah, they're definitely a type of building blocks. Like, they're not Lincoln Logs. I don't know what the name is for them. Fuck. Confederate Logs? Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> they're the opposing <laughs> Confederate Logs. <laughs> Holy... I almost missed this fun little conveyor belt. Leon! There we go. You better get that. Yeah, there we Woo. go. Thank you. Look at me go, look at me go, yay! Ow. Ah! <laughs> now you're getting the belt, Chris. Uh, give me the belt. Okay, beating children with a belt, yay or nay? I'm, I'm gonna go with a nay, a hard nay. Why? Cause I don't know. I didn't get beat with a belt and I turned out okay. I got beat with a belt and I turned out horrible. <laughs> okay, I guess those are two very good points. I got beat with a wooden plank with nails coming out of it. I turned out pretty alright. Yeah, that's because you don't remember. I do. I dream about it every night. Well, that's good. See, it left an impact. Yeah, it left an impression. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> it left an impression in my brain. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Ah, getting bombed again. Sigh, just like one of my dreams. It is just like one of your dreams, huh? Yeah, those dreams are weird. But, if it ever happened, do you think you've got, like, a solid plan now? No, in, in my dreams, whenever, like, a nuke goes off, it's really weird. Even though this wouldn't happen in real life, in the dream I'm always like, I guess I'm gonna die now, and then the, like the explosion hits me and I wake up. Like, I don't freak out or anything in the dream. So, when you inevitably buy your Let's Play mansion, <laughs> are you going to, uh, are you gonna put like a, a bomb room in it? No. Really? I, I don't want to survive. That? I don't want to survive. I was a gonna blast. say there are definitely reasons why, like, surviving in in into a a post-apocalyptic world Jesus. is probably like less than I than ideal. Yeah, you're gonna get cancer anyway. Yeah, but you can you can have yourself a nice little you know bunker with porn and beans and Pokemon cards, and Pokemon cards, rare Japanese Pokemon cards you can't <laughs> yeah, read, co collectors <laughs> items, yeah, yeah, collectibles. Yeah, no, I'd rather die. <laughs> you gotta have all your Funko Pops, <laughs> rare valuable Funko Pops. What? I don't want Funko Pops. You gotta get all your limited edition Oni Plays pins that don't we don't print Funko anymore. Pops. I want U twos. You know those things? What are U twos? Oh, those like the Funko ones that Pops are Funko YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> now those are cool. <laughs> I, w I wonder if those actually have, Whoa. like, picked up value of, like, the cancelled YouTubers that they, like, <laughs> don't make them anymore. Oh, yeah. Wow. You got it. You got down into top thousand now. Either no one else is- n less people are playing this far into the game, or you're improving. Wow, I'm getting pretty good, honestly. Like, like, like this, for example, see? Now that Whoa. was cool. Whoa. I keep hitting these, damn it. Whoa. No, no! <sighs> yeah, all right, Chris. Here, here's here's the game plan. All right. Uh, when we get nuked? Well, no. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, we Whoa. get famous enough to get our own U 2s figures, right? Yeah. You do a Chris O'Neill U two, and then we orchestrate the biggest canceling of all time. <laughs> After we sell three of them, after the third one is sold. That's cool. So you're saying you basically inflate the price of your own YouTube <laughs> yeah, by yeah, getting canceled, canceled the second that like the, the first run happens. It's the perfect crime. Like That's if a you really ever good wanna, idea. If you ever want to leave this life behind. <laughs> I, pr I purposefully cancel myself to inflate the price of my own U2s. Your, your, your U2s inflate and they're suddenly worth five hundred dollars well, instead of thirty. You're a fucking genius. I, I don't know if you can retire lot, off that. It, it means more coming from you. <laughs> I, I said we do it. There we go. Oh, oh the big circle. Oh, uh, <laughs> to smear blue on a brand new canvas. It just gives me life. Wee. Woohoo. Dude, it's like Superman 64. This rocks. <laughs> like Superman 64. <laughs> that's the that's the first thing that popped into your head. You're flying through hoops. I guess that's true. <laughs> what a horrible game. That's such a weird mechanic to like be like. If you're Superman, here's what you want to do. Yeah. 
You want to fly through a bunch of hopes. Wasn't there a Superman Returns game on the 360 that, like, was really janky and stupid? It was. You know what? It's actually, like, really, really fun to just fly around in that game. I remember I played Whoa. the demo of that, and I played, like, a f ton of it. <laughs> but everything that's not flying around just feels like shit. Yeah. But the flying around is actually really cool. This is really cool. This is really cool. Oh, let's go! No, little guy, go! You go. did it, you did it, you I did, did it. it, I did it, yes! I guess, Woo. yeah, those things are supposed to detonate. Ah! Yes. God, this game is so fucking fun. Sure is. No. Yes! No! Don't do this to me, I like the ball. It is a lovely ball. I like the ball, man. I love the ball. <gasps> Tuba! Mm. But would you say you're in love with the ball, or just that you love the ball platonically? Uh, I'm in, I'm in love with it. You're in love with it? I think I think so. You know what? That's fair. I I was kind of going back and forth, but you know what? I, I think I'm in love with it too, man. I think Plato okay. would be in love with it. Plato? Yeah. Like the philosopher? Yeah. Who, 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 <laughs> for whom the term pl platonically is named? Wait, really? Yeah, he would yeah. love and fuck the I ball. I thought you meant Plato, like 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 Plato. Oh like, no! Like the toy, yeah. Well, the CEO of like Plato would like also like with a T, not a D. Yeah, but bo but honestly, the the creator of Plato would probably love and be in deep lust with this ball. Wait, to be fair. is it called Plato or Clado? Which is the knockoff version? Clado is the fake one, at least in in American. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Play Doh is definitely the real one. And I think there's an H in Doh, like like the Homer Simpson Doh yeah, in a, there. It's a, what? No, I, wait, is it, actually now I don't remember how they spell it. <laughs> did I just uh did I just Mandela affect that into your brain? You no, you might be right. It may be <laughs> spelled it may be spelled uh, I said it to fuck with you, but now I'm second guessing. It, it. might be spelled D-O-H and not D-O-G-A D-O-U-G-H. Holy fuck! No! Cause isn't it just P L A D O D O Yeah. Oh no, it's play D O H. I told you. Yeah. I should have never doubted me. You made me- <laughs> I Mandela oh, affected oh. you, and then you Mandela affected me back. <laughs> Tomar's always Mandela affecting. That's why it's actually called the Tomar effect. You're just remembering it <laughs> wrong. I remember I, I turned anti-aliasing on Tomar off, and then he, he got to like a steady 60 frames, so I could turn Mandela affecting Whoa, back on. No! <laughs> Jesus. And, uh, it, it runs like a dream. Tomar runs like a dream? He does. I guess he does. For miles and miles, no less. Look what I see. Yes! Yes! Excellent! Yes! yes. Forward then! No! No! Oh. Fuck! Did oh. you see that? Oh. That was the most fucking cool shit ever! <laughs> oh, this we is go. some physics! No! Oh no! Oh shit, I was doing so cool. Oh, uh, that was awesome, and then it sucked. Fuck! Oh, I need to go into this yeah, thing. Yeah, I don't think you can make that without the hoop. Ooh, I guess I kinda... Oh. No, <laughs> I don't think... Shit, let me in there. Okay. I think you're- yeah. MOTHERFUCKER! Why does life suck so much? <laughs> this is the- this is your greatest complaint about life. <laughs> there we go. Okay, hold up. FUCK oh! YOU! Oh, uh, you still got the <laughs> checkpoint, though. Yeah, it smashed you right into that checkpoint. Oh, no, no, no! Woo! Oh, wow, yeah, this is like this one is of those- One of those bridge. carnival bridges that you're- that you're- That you pay like two dollars to attempt to climb up. Look, look at though, look where I'm going. This is like amazing. Yeah, you're going to like Mount Olympus. I think Herculad is there. Ooh. <laughs> Chris, what's a celebrity that you liked like growing up? A celebrity? Yeah. Jack Black. Jack Black? Yeah. Okay, so you get a call from your dad. Yeah. And he says, Chris, I, I have I have some good news. <laughs> you just some... unearthed a memory. Okay, go, go, go. He says, I have some good news and some bad news. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. What is uh, it, Dad? Well, the bad news is, is I found out that. I'm not your real father. Jack Black is actually your real father. Uh, the good news is I still want to be part of your life. My, your mother and I are fine. Uh. Uh, and here's Jack Black's phone number. Do you pursue a relationship, a dad relationship with Jack Black, or do you? I mean, I feel like that's fair. But I still love my 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 fake daddy. He still raised me really good. Okay, so your your real dad and your fake dad. Yeah. You can choose which is which. Yeah. Because they're both inviting you to Christmas. Okay. Who's <laughs> Whose Christmas do you go to? Um, Jack I, Black I, did kind of abandon. Yeah, he Chris. abandoned me. So, like, my my fake dad is at least uh, the better father. So, 
I'd be like, you know what, Jack Black, you're a Hollywood dickhead. Uh, but I bet if Jack Black heard this, he's like, well, I didn't really do that. And he'd just be really sad that you said he was a bad father. Yeah, what if your mom told Jack Black <laughs> to get out and never contact what if, her yeah, again? Jablinski Gaming is going to reach out and just be like, how dare you call my dad a, bla a bad father? Uh, I, would, I would just, I would get the full story. I'd be like, so what really happened then, hmm? And, and if his story's convincing, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. Okay, but that's not the question. He the just question never is, knew you were born. Do you get the real story on December 25th or on January? 3rd. That's uh, the question I'm asking. I would get the real story on uh, December 23rd. Okay, so you'd meet you'd meet up with Jack Black before Christmas. Just just to help make your decision of where to spend it. I'm no, I don't even know who's my real dad right now, do I? Well, you do know. You just well, you, you know, just confirm that Jack Black is your real biological dad. Yeah. Okay, I'd say you Some, know what? Somehow after Christmas, they just have his DNA in their database. I'd say after and they Christmas, checked. I'll come visit you and then you tell me everything. What if Jack Black for Christmas gives you a vial of his blood? And he says, "Okay, so I, I instantly block him on everything." <laughs> Wait, you didn't even hear his proposition. Okay, okay, go. You can inject the blood and become a younger Jack Black with all of my powers. So I'm really good at guitar and singing. Yes, and kind of good at acting. Yes. <laughs> uh, and kind hmm. of good. <laughs> That's actually that sounds like a backhanded compliment. I know, but I know. But if you consider like Jack Black's pretty good at acting, and that's like his third best ability in the his eyes best of Chris, ability that's is like point. singing. I yeah. wish I kind of wish he would like just sing more like albums. I, I do too. I wish he'd do a cover album. I'd listen to that. I love his singing voice. Uh, but yeah, I would just be like, what the fuck. Like, how did this even happen? Do you want to hear a funny story about Jack Black and my dad, though, really? <laughs> sure. You, you, you did on there with history. Something. When I was growing up, uh, one of my friends, he used to play these gigs in Wexford Town when he was, like, 16. So he'd, he'd play guitar, and his brother would play drums. And then one time they came over to my house, like, after school, and they were like, Chris, we're thinking about asking Jack Black to come to Wexford. And, and, and they, were, they were saying this at the dinner table, and then my dad was just like, you, you think you're going to get Jack Black to come to Wexford, and they're like, yeah! He's like, Dah! And he's certainly laughing in their faces, and he's, my dad was just being so mean, he's like, You're fucking stupid if you think Jack Black can come to Wexford! And they're, he just broke their heart. It was like the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> it's terrible. It sounds like it's funny. Jack, it sounds like your dad just really doesn't want Jack Black to come to Wexford. No, he was just being realistic. Well, that's interesting that you, like, that's what you'd call that. That's realistic. There were like 15-year-old Irish fucking kids who were shitty guitar and drums. Well, well, at the time, now they're actually really good. But they were like, we're going to get Jack Black to come hang with us at, at the gig in Wexford. And my dad was just laughing at them. <laughs> my dad, my dad could be just brutally honest. Yeah, they were just getting hyped, it sounds like. Yeah, he, he destroyed their it, dreams. It's like it's like when I was I remember when I was in first grade and the sure. nick and the nick takes over your school sweepstakes was going on and I was convinced that because I uh -huh. sent in that one postcard that there was like that there was like an almost guaranteed chance that Nick was gonna come Nickelodeon was gonna come take over my school and slime my principal. <laughs> and I, and I, was, I was looking forward to it for literally the oh. entire year. So your principal's just running around being a dick and you were like, just you fucking wait asshole. Just You'll you get your come up when I slime you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what was going through my oh, head. Oh, you freaking wish. Poor baby Tomar, think of that shit's real. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I bet I bet it didn't even really happen to the person that won. Yeah. Because like all of those contests are like, well, we could come take over your school, or we could write you a fifty thousand dollar check. Holy fuck! I'd you way know? rather take do that. <laughs> of course. Because ah! e every sweepstakes, if you ever look, like they're forced to give a cash equivalent of all their prizes, and I'm pretty sure like ninety percent of the time they wind up just giving out the cash. Yeah. Because it saves sense. everybody a lot of hassle. <laughs> Yeah, no one wants to get slimed by Nickelodeon. Fucking Dan Schneider's Smegman in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, wish, well, I wish that was that was like true canon. The Dan the Nickelodeon Snyder. slime is Dan Schneider's Smegma. There's a little bit of Dan in every <laughs> in every dollop of it's just, slime. It's just green slimy goop. Was Dan Snyder in there from like the very beginning, like the Pete and Pete days, or like uh, I'm not sure. And, and, like, he did all that though. I think that was his first thing he did. Oh, okay. I'd consider that like Nickelodeon, like Gen Two. It is crazy how much of a success he was. He, he every single show he did at like for the first while, kids just loved it all. To be fair, like oh, I, I had like very little tolerance for like live action kids shows as a kid. Oh, me too. And the few that I did watch were like, yeah, like I did watch all that. And all shit. that, Keenan and Kill, and Are You Afraid of the Dark are the only ones I can think of. I don't think he did. Are you afraid of the fart? 
Uh, yeah, no, I like. I think that. Are you afraid of the dark and like Legends oh. of the Hidden Temple and all that was more like Gen One Nickelodeon. Wonder if Summer Sanders is still thinking about that slime. Summer Sanders. From Figure It Out, dog. WTF you talking about, even? I used to think she was such a babe. Who? Summer Sanders, Who's dude. That? Yeah, who is that? From Figure It Out. I've never seen Figure It Out. Unless I'm fucking getting this wrong, are you rewriting my childhood? What if we rewrite- Figure It Out, Figure Out I don't even remember, like I remember it, but I don't remember ever really watching it when it was airing. Is she a sports commentator now? She's a shorts commentator. She was an Olympic champion in 1992? This can't be the same Summer <laughs> Sanders. <laughs> 1992, huh? Oh no, it totally fucking was. It was. So the Olympian is the same as the host. Wow, she looks much more like just someone's mom than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a milf fucker. Yeah, you got me there. Yeah, I guess I am going to be milf fucker. Oh my god, I wish I could make a game this good. I feel like, yeah, in a game like this, it's like... It's definitely like engine driven, but then yeah, you do still have to have the level designs to make it work. His level designs are really simple, but like, because it's so fun to fuck around with, kind of just makes itself after a while. Yeah, like, the internal logic of these things is just like, they're just wheels, they're just platforms, yeah. who cares? Wow. Yeah. No, they, like care. I said, when it's, it's, yeah, it's just, it's all really in the engine and the physics. It's kind of a hellish nightmare if you really think about it. What just I, happened? I would, I would hate to have to ascend this, but... I love that you have to ascend it. Oh, <laughs> does that make sense? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Like okay, so I'm gonna supposed to go over to these ones. Oh. There you go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there getting some there lift. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at me go. I'm oh. very easily startled by this game. <laughs> What? What? That oh, it's a reset button. I did, I hit the reset button. Oh, that should not be on the fucking main button set. I think yeah, you that, got should your strategy, that should involve though. like pressing like four buttons at the same time. Okay. I would just say like don't even worry about getting above them. Like just just worry about getting to the bottom of the next one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, here we go. There you go. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, the final button is at the very top of the column, I see. Works for me. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Fuck! Come on, there we go. Yeah. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is getting crazy. Ooh, little platform. Pistons. Pistons, if you will. <gasps> Come on. There we go. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> Ouch. Fuck, this is really fucking with my brain. Yeah, it's kind of disorienting. Okay, there you go. Oh my god, this... <laughs> this is really something. Oh, look, there's a guy! And I'm gonna get him! You've got him! Yes! He lives! You've oh. got the fourth man! You got the touch! Dun, dun, no! no! Okay. This part's driving me fucking bananas. Are you going ape? Yep. Well, you're going down. Oh no. Do you want me to give it a go? No, I, I think I'm just gonna cheese it. Okay, okay, there you go. That works. It's been cheesed. Fuck. No, I cheesed it and then I diseased it. There we go. I fought the cheese and the cheese won. Okay. Come on. Oh, just get over there. Get the fuck over there. Okay. Oh. Don't fuck oh. it up. Don't fuck it up. Oh. oh, you fucking did it. That was it driving me open. bonkers. <laughs> Ten minutes. Holy fuck, I'm stupid. No, nah, everyone everyone does that on that level. <laughs> you can't prove it's not true. I can't believe it's not even butter. Foray abandoned. Oh. Now that's a level. Now that's an abandoned hut of a level. This melody, like, instantly made me think of, like, Final Fantasy for some reason. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. It, it Like, it doesn't anymore, but right when it started... Was it the weird sound font flute? Maybe. I don't know. If a burglar came into your house with a sound font flute, you'd be completely disarmed. <laughs> a sound font flute? Yeah. If a burglar came in, like, with a Final Fantasy VII sound font flute, I would let him steal, honestly. <laughs> you just take whatever you like, want. Are you like that's so fucking weird? You came in with a flute, then 
produces those sounds. <laughs> okay, credit where it's due. Just take something <laughs> under two grand and we're good. I would I would be impressed. Just be like, how do you even know about that? <laughs> I am the sound font flute burglar. <laughs> You'll never expect what I'll do. <laughs> That's his entire like MO. He, he he like spends weeks painstakingly figuring out what your favorite game is, then <laughs> assigns the sound font to his and digital robs flute. You and robs you at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> And you can't help but find them charming and likable. I recognize that sh This level seems much less frustrating than the last one. Yeah, this the is- The last one was a bit of a gimmick level, but it was a cool gimmick. It was just moving shit, really. Well, it was just very, like, vertical, and it was cool how the towers just kept ascending higher and higher. This is just a really good example of, like, if the movement is fun, the levels don't need to be too crazy, you know? Like, as long as you have fun, like, flying around really fast, you feel like you're doing shit. You know what would really improve this game, though? Is, like... Jiggle physics on his Jiggle breasts? physics, for sure, but... Yeah. I think it would be cool if you found, like, codecs with, like, paragraphs upon paragraphs of lore. <laughs> oh yeah, that would make this game infinitely more fun. I would like to listen to like little records you find of like the world lore and like dead people. Yeah, yeah, people that have recorded like voice memos for no discernible reason. <laughs> other, other than to pad the game out with story, yes, I agree. That would be real great. That is so weird that it caught on as a trend. Of Slime World Diary. Entry, yeah. Entry number 16. I feel like it makes sense in like Bioshock 1 where you're like, okay, this world is interesting, I want to kind of know more. But then everything started doing it, yeah. and it's always, if you think about the actual internal logic of it, it's always like, my sister it feels like it's just the, to, you know, it's just to, <laughs> it's just to like, an excuse to hire more writers or something, honestly. Maybe, yeah. Like, I'm playing cyberpunk right now, and the amount of reading that I don't do in that game... Yeah, I don't think I've read a single, like, shard I've found. I know, and I feel bad because somebody the, the, clearly the, wrote it. The game has, like, 200 hours of spoken dialogue, so why bother reading? <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, who- I, I wonder if anybody does read all those books in, like, Skyrim and shit. I can't fault it for being there, but I- I don't no, know. no, I'm just saying, yeah, I'm not gonna be the guy reading it. I'm not the audience for that. I, I just wonder if all that effort is, like, better spent elsewhere. Uh, although, I guess, yeah, you could be right that, like, they might just have writers on staff that they don't want to fire. I think they just do that stuff for the pure efficiency of it, because it's something writers can do almost completely independent of anyone else on staff, so they could keep producing content like that, even when other stuff's kind of on the fence. Yeah. Point is, this game could have maybe used some of that. The Frisky Aragonian <laughs> Maid. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's a classic Oblivion book. The lusty. The, the, the lusty, lusty Aragonian that the lusty Maid, that's Arago it. Wait, is that the lizard race? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was so lusty. She sure was. What Wait, a minx. can I read an excerpt from The Lusty yeah. Aragonian Maid? I would be offended now's if the, you didn't. Now's the perfect time, honestly. The Lusty Arag... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, makes me horny thinking about it. Yeah, I'm getting pretty up just anticipating the next <laughs> words out of Tomar's mouth. Oh, do lizards have, uh, sphincters? I think so. Good. Alright, here we go, boys. Act 4, scene 3 continued. Lifts her tail. Whoa. Certainly not, kind sir. I am here but to clean your chambers. Crantius <laughs> Culto. I wish he said chamber pot. Is that all you have come here for, little one? My chamber- He says little one. Ew. Yeah. So she's like a, she's a little she's lizard. She's a baby lizard. Yeah. I have no idea what it is you imply, Master. I am but a poor Argonian maid. <laughs> that was so a shitty my, book. So you are my dumpling, and a good one at that. Such strong legs and shapely tail. <laughs> you embarrass me, sir. Fear not, you are safe here with me. <laughs> I must finish my cleaning, sir. The mistress will have my head if I do not. She really didn't want to, like, partake. Sounds Cleaning, like. eh? I have something for you here. Polish my spear. <laughs> but it is huge. It could take me all night. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. That's that is that's pretty like run of the mill. It's the shittiest cheesy, book I yeah. ever heard. It's like the most generic like uh, think, erotic premise ever. I think maybe that's the idea because I, I guess the so. variation comes from the fact that she's a lizard. <laughs> Hopefully, whoever wrote that only spent five minutes. <laughs> 
Uh, that was someone's it's life about work. as long as any as it would take anyone else, I'd imagine. You know, I heard this and I have no idea if it's true. But I heard that the the reason that porns have like shitty plots like that, where it's like it's got to be a pizza guy or an air conditioner repairman or something, I've heard that the reason for that originally was that you just couldn't make porn, but you could include like erotic scenes in movies. Oh, so really? So that was their workaround to it was like to write some shitty like half-assed like plot that begins with a pizza guy coming in just to satiate the censors. I don't know if that's a, true or not. After a while, they just decided, you know what, we don't need these shitty stories. Yeah, You're I, already making fuck movies, you might as well just get yeah, to the point. I, I'm not sure if that's completely true, or if that's just like, you know, one of those urban legends like Barney suffocated I, in I, the I, suit, but I'm it willing, sounds I'm believable. willing to believe that there's at least some truth to that one. We're a, we, we definitely started as a very Puritan country, and People yeah. did have to go through all kinds of hoops to make porn. They had to go through so many hoops and hurdles just to make porn. If we I think even the, the uh, origin of the burlesque house was just this. It's like, well, this is classy. It's not really a, like a stripper. Oh, yeah. I think it was just an excuse to charge more for Ooh. strippers. <laughs> Holy shit. And damn if it didn't work. I'll be damned. Okay. Oh, you gotta use the momentum to. Yeah, there you go. Let me in. That rocks. The little man from the moon is going home. I love this little guy. I love his realm. <laughs> I love the blue ball realm. His 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 big oil stained realm. I have blue balls, something fierce. My big greasy world is as it never has been before. The music sounds so like PS1. It sounds like a dude with a big mustache can compose the whole thing. <laughs> You think this is one of those games where the the creator's like a savant and he also did all his own music? I think the creator was a man in sepia tone being chased around by another guy with a mallet. Yeah. And he was writing this song frantically as it happened. Wee! Ah, mm. mm. oh, piss <laughs> off, blocks. Stupid colored box. Okay, I'm gonna speed run this level. You ready? Oh, you better just have do a it, do blast it, do it, do in it, do there. It. Check this okay. out. I'm so good. Oh yeah, look Fuck at that. Yeah. Now watch this. Oh yeah. Oh, now watch you're this. going, you're going. Now watch this. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you lost about three seconds. No, on no, that. no, 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 shut up, shut up. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> no! Oh fuck. No, that was a glitch you did on purpose. Yeah, yeah, just grab one of the little sticks on the side. I'm the lusty Argonian Chris O'Neill. It's true. We've known this about you the whole time. <laughs> Have you really? Yeah, the tail was kind of a giveaway. <laughs> and the lizard skin? Yeah. The fact that you're always talking about polishing spears. Yeah, and the w your weird, like, horizontal eyelids also kind of gave it away. And the skooma addiction? Yeah, that too. Look, you think I wouldn't know if I was oh. friends with a reptoid? I am a reptoid. Whoa. Holy fucking shit! Who's bombing me all the time, yeah, anyway? Why are there wars in this world with the tiki's? Look up the, uh, the description on Steam and see where this is based. <laughs> this is based Whoa! in- Whoa! I grabbed a little rock, did you see that? This is based in pre-World War One Syria. <laughs> Oi! Is pre-World War One Syria the worst Syria? I have- it's probably a better- I think most of the- most of the Middle East was way better off before World War One. Oh. Like a, if lot I of, were... a lot of British and U.S. meddling is the reason why a lot of that region became like weird and radicalized. So if I were to move to Syria and run with for office with the slogan "Make Syria Great Again," what period of time would I reference? Pro uh, probably like 1900. I don't know. <laughs> wow, that's going back a long way. That, look, I, I, I might have I to add the caveat of make Syria great again, but you can still have like TV and the iPhone I'm and stuff. I'm speaking still largely from ignorance. I don't know what history <laughs> was like in 19... or what Syria was like in 1900 at all. Let me out! No! No! Okay, so my new campaign slogan, I'll run it by you, is... I don't know, was 1900 good? I've heard maybe. <laughs> I think that's gonna... that's gonna really hit voters where they live. <laughs> Which, to reiterate, is in Syria. <laughs> God damn it! This part's really hard. Was this a checkpoint or did you go all the way back? I think it was a checkpoint. Okay. 
Jesus, fuck. Thank God these balloons are here. You're oh, gonna no. find at the end of this game that you were the, the bad guy all along. No! I'm not meddling in another country's affairs. You're gonna jump into a giant frontal cortex and then think really bad thoughts oh. with it. This like, really is, like, just silent film music. Yeah. This is kind of hard to play and talk. Is this starting to require more and more of your focus as the learning curve It's using increases? my brain waves, my precious brain waves. You, you just be needs, like you just need to take more essential oils, Chris. That'll realign your brain waves just great. Yeah, you can use a hundred percent of your brain. I've also got some crystals I'd like to sell you if you're into that. <laughs> I think pouring oil onto my brain might help. Definitely, especially mineral oils. What about tooth oil? <laughs> tooth oil is the like most ground rare like resource. ground up tooth. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's been distilled into oil. <laughs> yeah, I think that might work. Yeah, no. We. I say if you'll buy it, it works. <laughs> Good. Anything you'll pay for, I'll sell you. <laughs> here! Come on, get me in here. Yes! Woo! Spooky! Uh, thunder level! I want to see thunder. Oh, it's wow. Scarovania! Now there's actually, like, electric lights on. Yeah, well, there's a well, setting. Whoa. I guess we don't know for a fact they're electric, but this is starting to look a little more modern. Yeah, they could be oil lanterns. This is like Bloodborne is, <laughs> or something. We're in Bloodborne now. Yeah. Some guy's Whoa. writing with a quill about the rot. You're in Bloodborne during the Hour of the Beast. Oh man, I love that shit. It was so cool. I forget, have you played Bloodborne on this channel? Yeah, we played with Mick, but we never beat it. Oh. Mick, Mick, Mick is definitely, out of all my friends, the one who has logged the most Bloodborne time. It's a shame he went missing. <laughs> Mick, <laughs> if you're out there, please come home. Yeah, we, we kind of liked you. I don't know... Let's let's at least plug his Whoa. his like JoJo thing, Blood Sun Vendetta. If we're gonna bring him up. Oh yeah, that that thing was sick. Yeah, for that, those of you that don't follow Mick already, he's been making like this this uh, this cool project. Holy. You should check out. This level is fucking bananas. What the hell? <laughs> I just had the mental image of Tomar like walking through a hurricane, like trying to keep fucking shit from flying <laughs> into his face, <laughs> and plugging Blood Sun Vendetta. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Fuck it, hell. Come on. There we go. No! I hate it when you fall down and you don't die and it still fades out like that. Well, every time I get knocked down, I get back up again and you're never gonna keep me down. That was the start of a FIFA game. Was it? Yeah, and it had a little CG bird running around. God, I hate FIFA. Is it because the footy harmed you in some way? Well, the no, the, fuck that, but the also... Footy ball? It was mainly because like, when I worked in GameStop, there was just like infinite copies of FIFA everywhere, clogging up everything. I always forget, it seems like every one of my friends, at some point, worked at a GameStop. It sucked. <laughs> I Not hate me. And they all have that exact same report. Yeah, no, it's... It's the most bitch work job you'll ever get. Wasn't the ideas that, like, GameStop would, like, treat employees like shit and just churn through them because there were enough people going like, I got to talk about video games yes. all day! Yes, that, that sounds exactly right. Oh, fuck, there we come on. You know, the, most of the job is just, uh, gutting games and, like, filing them into a drawer. I heard a lot of it was selling that fucking magazine. Really? Oh and yeah, if you didn't... yeah, convincing people to sign up for uh, Game Informer or whatever. And if you didn't sell that magazine, like you got killed at the end of the quarterly. <laughs> we didn't report. have Game Informer in Ireland, but uh, we did have. We we had a thing where well, Game we... Informer was at originally a Funko Land publication, but they, but then GameStop inherited when they bought Funko Land. Like really? Funko Pops? No, no, Funko Land completely unrelated to Funko Pops. At They're... least as far as I know. In Ireland. There was none of that Game Informer shit, but we did... We had to sell a certain amount of, uh, membership things. And if you didn't, you'd, you'd get, like, punished for it. You'd get reprimanded and, like, yelled yeah. at. The, uh, the yeah. magazine was tied to that I year. hated that stuff. I, when I was working at Circuit City as literally a PC repair guy, they still tried to make me do all that same shit, like, sell people things. And I'm like, 
that's not why you hired me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and if you didn't do it, they'd, they'd fucking launch you into a haunted mansion on a ramp like, like this. Like, when you hired me, I explicitly said, like, I'm not a sales guy, but... I'll totally fix all the computers that people bring in. <laughs> it was also a thing where if you didn't uh, get enough uh, trade-ins, so you, you have to like hit a certain amount of people trading in their shit, and if you didn't, you'd also get yelled at. And it's just like I don't feel yeah, comfortable just... ripping people off and like being forced yeah. to do it. Yeah, there's something that's just not fun about like you know, you, you telling, know telling people that they're like one month old copy of like Tekken Five is yeah is worth like. Is, is worth like $10. One, one fifth of what they yeah. paid for it. And then they'll sell it for 50. Yeah. It was like, you, you know, you're scamming people, and it's like, and, and if you don't do it, you get yelled at and threatened to be fired. That was me when I used to tell old people who were like sticker shocked at the fact that like Microsoft Office Whoa. didn't actually come free with their computer, and that was just a 60 day trial, and now they have to spend $250 or whatever. That's insane. And to I be just fair. tell I just tell them to go to like OpenOffice.org. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's there's like a free version. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there, it's been a it's like OpenOffice isn't the main one anymore. Now I think it's like Star Office or whatever. But yeah, oh. or you can just use Google Docs. Yeah, but like OpenOffice was the easiest like alternative back, back in the day, back in like the early two thousands. Oh my god, I hate this level. I hate this it one. It is kind of cool, though. It looks it cool. It looks cool. Here, do you want to try? Sure, yeah. By the way, I haven't played this game the entire time we've been playing, so... It's if... also, like, loud. Ugh. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, let's turn this volume down just a hair. Yeah, we kind of have been, like, screaming at each other this whole time, haven't we? Didn't really notice. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's even relevant which way's up on levels like this. You're touching the... Yeah, oh, th that's the kill no. box. Okay. You can kind of see it's the cylinder you got to stay uh, inside of. Uh, oh, fuck! Yeah, there, yeah. When you when you go up high like that, the cylinder is very obvious. Uh, okay. Oh my god. To be fair, this game does have like a pretty like generous like panic. At, button. Least, oh, you at least you're done. Yeah, I got it. Panic button. <laughs> oh, fuck that! I hope there's no more of that. If that isn't the end of that, okay. Yeah. My my tongue's like a little lava whip now. What do you mean? I've oh. gained ultimate power. It is. Check that out. Oh. Got to have a lava level. You have to actually. You ain't a video game if you don't got a lava level. If your dad doesn't Oh, Tomar, you broke the first <laughs> cardinal sin. But it was my wife calling me. Yeah, the first cardinal sin is don't get married. <laughs> Tomar calls yeah, his wife Wi-Fi for short. <laughs> Wi-Fi? For long? <laughs> for long. <laughs> it makes sense. Wife, I. Oh, can you stop killing this poor blue ball? I can sure as hell try. I haven't really got, like, the, the swinging down yet. Okay. Yeah, you got, yeah, there you go. Oh, you don't really have to hit the jump button. You can just kind of let go. Yeah. You can let go of everything you believe in. What's the most iconic lava level you've ever played? Uh... This one for sure. Why? Um, because it's the one where our good friend Tomar fell in and died like the end of Terminator 2 and gave <laughs> us one final thumbs up. His thumb looks stupid. Yeah, there it is right there. 